Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'll be talking about the difference in hydrogen bonding between the water, ammonia and the hydrogen fluoride. I will provide a link in the description of the video to visit us uh, on the website and downloading the material. So first, what is hydrogen bond? Hydrogen bond is a special type of electrostatic attraction. It happens between hydrogen atom of one molecule and uh, fluorine uh, oxygen or nitrogen of another atom. Uh, hydrogen bond have a strength uh, of around 1 over 10 is the strength of the covalent bond this shows how uh, strong the hydrogen bond is actually it is the strongest type of intermolecular force that occur between uh, molecules hydrogen bond uh, exists like I said here in one molecule that will have one hydrogen atom that will be covalently bonded to fluorine oxygen or nitrogen and another uh, or second molecule that will have uh, the fluorine uh, oxygen or nitrogen atoms uh, with available lone pair of electrons the number of hydrogen bonds will depend on the number of uh, the attracted or attached uh, nitrogen fluorine or uh, uh, oxygen of the molecule. This means the number of lone pair presented in the oxygen, fluorine, or nitrogen will decide the number of the hydrogen bonds. The electronegativity uh, of the three uh, nitrogen, oxygen, and the fluorine should decide the strength of the hydrogen bond. Of course, we know that nitrogen have the least uh, electronegativity comparing to oxygen and the fluorine. The strength of hydrogen bond in water is higher than ammonia. So this is why if we looked at the strength of the hydrogen bond in water it will be higher than the ammonia because oxygen will have a higher electronegativity than the nitrogen this will lead us to the fact that the oxygen uh, uh, the hydrogen uh, the hydrogen bond in case of water will have uh, more strength than uh, in case of the ammonia also we could see here that uh, in water molecules there is uh, two hydrogen uh, bonds and you have two lone pairs so the possibility of the formation of uh, two hydrogen bond Per molecule. So if we looked at the reason why the hydrogen bond in water is uh, stronger than uh, in ammonia, we could look at the electronegativity uh, point of view. You have oxygen, which have a higher electronegativity than the nitrogen. This means uh, the water molecule will form hydrogen bond stronger than, the, uh, than in case of ammonia. You have also another reason you each molecule of water molecule can form two hydrogen bond per molecule while in here you could see that ammonia in case of ammonia you have one hydrogen bond per molecule uh, so you have uh, uh, the possibility of hydrogen bond uh, or the uh, number of hydrogen bond per molecule is two to one this is what makes the hydrogen bonding in water is stronger than in case of ammonia so uh, if we said that the higher the electronegativity the uh, more hydrogen uh, the stronger the hydrogen bond will be so why i have in case of water i have the hydrogen bond in case of water is stronger than in case of hydrogen fluoride we could see that in case of hydrogen bond the crystal lattice that forms is tetrahedral uh, geometry while in uh, case of uh, uh, fluorine uh, hydrogen fluoride is actually zigzag shaped so the key uh, the case of tetrahedral geometry you can find that is have a more crystal organized the crystal uh, crystal uh, lattice well in the case of uh, uh, hydrogen fluoride it is less organized it's only like zigzag so the formation of hydrogen bond will be here more stronger also the same reason like we seen before each uh, oxygen will be hydrogen bonded to two hydrogen atoms while in uh, case of fluorine atom uh, the fluorine atom will be uh, hydrogen bonded only to one hydrogen atom so the possibility of uh, or the number of hydrogen uh, bond uh, comparing between the uh, oxygen uh, between the water and uh, hydrogen fluoride would be also two to one this is what will make the hydrogen fluoride uh, bond weaker than in case of water molecules now let's look at the angle between uh, each atom in the uh, crystal lattice we could see here in case of water the angle is 104 and in case of uh, ammonia is actually 180 is a linear one so in in case of ammonia molecules it form a linear 
crystal while in here it form zigzag shape uh, the angle is 116 also the higher the angle will be the more stable uh, the crystal lattice will be in case of uh, uh, the more uh, stable the hydrogen uh, bond will be you could see that uh, actually ammonia uh, is less hydrogen bond is uh, uh, weaker than the hydrogen bond in case of hydrogen fluoride this is because the electronegativity of fluoride uh, atom is larger than the electronegativity of the nitrogen while in case of the water, it forms this tetrahedral crystal geometry with 104 angle between each atom. This will make uh, the tetrahedral geometry the more stable uh, uh, crystal lattice. And actually, the formation of this crystal lattice, uh, you could see in here, you will have more number of hydrogen bond uh, per inch square. Then in case of the linear shape or the zigzag shape, this what will make uh, the hydrogen bond uh, in case of the water much more stronger than uh, both the hydrogen fluoride and the ammonia molecule. Now if we look at the per uh, particulate nature or the per uh, particulate properties of water, you could see that in any other material, the solid will be more denser than the liquid. So if I have any uh, material that is in solid state, it will have a denser, uh, a higher density than in case if I liquefied this material. Only, the only exception is the water. You could see that the ice is less denser than water. This is what makes the ice floats over the water uh, and any other material. Uh, now, if we look at the uh, particulate nature of uh, uh, water, we could see that in case of ice, it is less denser than in case of water. Any other uh, material, you have the solid state will be much denser than the liquid state of this material. This is because the number of molecules per inch in case of solid will be much larger the number of molecules in case of liquid, except for water. Why? Because the geometrical shape of the water, it forms this three-dimensional uh, hydrogen bonding network, which is the tetrahedral uh, network. This network will not allow the, uh, the molecules to come much closer, and the distance in that case is much larger uh, in solids than uh, the distance between uh, the particles in case of water. This crystal lattice, the uh, three-dimensional crystal lattice, will allow the uh, solid state of water to be less denser than in case of water.
Now, if I try to talk about the particulate uh, uh, properties of uh, water, we could see that in case of ice, it is denser, uh, less denser. Now, if we talked about the uh, particulate nature of water, we could see that in case of ice, it is less denser than in case of water. In any other material, your solid is way much more denser than in case of liquid uh, because of the number of the uh, molecules per inch in case of uh, solids is larger than in case of uh, liquid. This is what makes the solids much denser of the same material, much denser than in case of uh, liquid, except for water. Actually, in case of water, the number of molecules per inch is less than, than uh, in solids, less than in liquids. This is because in case of water, it forms what is called three-dimensional uh, hydrogen bond network. This network will not allow the, um, the, um, the water molecules to be much closer than a certain distance. And it will form this hexagonal uh, layered shapes that will allow more distance between the molecules and the more distance the particles will be or the more distance between the molecules means the less denser the water will be. By that we came to the end of our video. Thank you and goodbye. Now, if I try to look at the particulate nature of water, we could see that in case of ice, it is less denser than water. We all know that uh, the solid of any material is uh, way uh, denser than the liquid of the same material because you have the number of molecules per inch in case of solid much larger than in case of liquid. The number of the molecules per inch means the more denser the material will be. But in case of water, actually, the uh, opposite happens. The ice is less denser than the liquid water. This is because the number of molecules per inch in case of ice is less than the number of molecules per inch in case of liquid. The uh, ice uh, forms what we call three-dimensional hydrogen bond network. This network uh, has a hexagon uh, hexagonal shape, is layered uh, to allow a certain distance between the molecules. This uh, distance between the molecules will make the ice less denser than in case of water. So the reason for the ice to be less denser than the water, the number of molecules per inch in case of ice is less than the number of molecules per inch in case of uh, liquid water. By that we came to the end of our uh, video. Uh, thank you and goodbye. If you look at the particulate nature of water, we could see that the ice is less denser than in case of water. In any another material, you have the solid state of this um, uh, material is more denser than in case of liquid. Except of, uh, of water, you have the density of ice is less than the density of liquid water. This is because the ice have this ability to form the three-dimensional hydrogen bond network. This will make the number of molecules per cubic inch uh, less than the number of uh, molecules in cubic inch of the uh, water. Uh, so you have here, if you looked here at uh, this uh, figure, you could see that the ice is forming hexagonal layered shape between uh, the uh, molecules. This will make the uh, molecules much further apart than in case uh, of uh, liquid water. Uh, the uh, number of uh, uh, molecules uh, uh, per cubic inch in case of ice is less definitely less than in case of water that will make the ice less denser than in case of water. Now if we try to look at the particulate nature of water we could see that the ice is less denser than in case of water um, because uh, usually you have this solid the solid state 
is uh, more denser than the liquid state because you have the number of uh, molecules per cubic inch in case of solids is larger than in case of liquids except of wo uh, for water the ice is less denser than uh, water or liquid water because the number of molecules per cubic inch uh, um, the number of molecules per cubic inch in case of ice is less than the number of molecules per cubic inch in case of water you could see that the ice actually forms what we call hexagonal layered shape between its uh, molecules this will make the, uh, the molecules in case of uh, ice much much further apart than in case of liquid and that will make the ice less denser than the water by that we came to the end of our video thank you and goodbye